Tight game, but East prevails 33-31 on a buzzer beater. East or Brownsville Vets will end up in second place. And that's a look at sports. Thank you, Ruben. In your community news, the Valley is full of hidden treasures, and this weekend may be the perfect time to check some of them out. Our Danielle Banda is back with us in the studio with some fa family-friendly places to visit. I'm so excited to can't talk. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. Hidden treasures is true. It's funny because while many of us live here in the Valley and others have even grown up in the Valley, there's still so many hotspots that members of our local community don't even know about or that they've ever even existed. But they're all great locations for sure, so pay attention. Okay, first on the list is La Salle del Rey Reserve. Now, this one's an interesting one, okay, because it's quite literally the only salt lake that we have here in the 956. This means that it's a body of water that uh, has no connection to the ocean, and it has a high concentration of salt and sodium, uh, sodium chloride, so it's a really unique uh, area, and it, of course, is Instagram-worthy. I know it's important to some of you. Now, the one that we've got here in the valley sits on a 530-acre area, and the hypersite saline spot has around 4 million tons of salt, which is why the spot is often called the Salt of the King Lake. And it's a nice area. You can walk around there. You can jog, even do a little bird watching, as well as a cool spot to check out unique wildlife. Uh, and it's right along the water's edge. So you can learn all about that place by visiting the Lower Rio Grande Valley National Wildlife Refuge webpage. As you can see, it's a beautiful area. Now, next up, I'm not sure if you've been here before, but if you haven't, you've got to check it out. I'm telling you about the Sable Palm Sanctuary. See, it's a historic and very rural site with the Rad Plantation House sitting on the top of gorgeous local land that we have. And the building was constructed back in the 1800s, and the surrounding areas are so breathtaking. It has a forest type of vibe outside with so many tall trees and a wooded area surrounding the entire property, which means it's a great spot to enjoy some natural walking trails that the valley has to offer. Plus, you can learn all about our local habitat and our wildlife that we have here as you throw, stroll through the pathway. Plus, the sanctuary offers a unique educational center there on site, which is great for families so they can learn a little bit about the history of the 956 that we have here. And the best part about this spot, well, the entire property sits along the Rio Grande river and I mean right along the river yards away from the U.S. Mexico border and let me tell you it's a sight to see. Lastly, be sure to check out the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge. It's over in Alamo because it's an established land for the protection of birds that migrate to our area. And it's a beautiful landscape for sure. It's actually one of the top birding destinations in the entire country with unique views of species like green jays and there are also chachalacas out there. The site also rests along the banks of the Rio Grande River, and it's comprised of over 2,000 acres stretched out to explore. One of the areas in particular has an adventurous rope bridge that attracts a lot of tourists and, of course, valley residents, so another unique photo capturing quality. It's a biologically diverse area with tons of butterflies, too, so definitely not like anything else you might see in other areas, and it just depicts the natural beauty of our deep South Texas region. So you can log on to FWS.gov for more info on how to visit uh, visit the refuge and even check out one of their free birding tours. It's going to start in the spring. Now, whether you check out the Salt Lake Reserve, or the Palm Sable Palm Sanctuary, and San, or the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, that's a, a great experience to check out the outdoors that we have here and shine a light on the valley. I got to know which one of these piqued your interest, you guys. All of them. Yeah, uh, the Beautiful. first one, like the, the Salt Lake, isn't yeah. like there's yeah. so much salt you you just float in it, like you can I never know. like go under. I've seen that. It so. looks like you're walking on water. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I actually wanted to try that out, and <laughs> yeah. now there's one literally here in the valley yeah. in the backyard, so it's beautiful too there so yeah. yeah a lot you know and I, I i have not done a lot of the nature birding type of stuff yeah, but those are all places cool. to do that at well that's where our wonderful winter texans come down yes. and see the birding yeah. all that stuff all the birds they come all over from all over the world all over the world so yeah the, the oh birding, yeah so that's uh, some beautiful birds down. good yeah. stuff and at the sanctuary you can literally look over the river hello yeah, yeah it's so I know, pretty which is cool <laughs> i know I, and it's all year round yeah. all year round yeah and it looks like a forest it looks like am i in the valley i know right i wonder well it would be a nice camping trip out there, but I don't know if you can. you do that? I don't think you can. I don't know. Well, some of the places you can. I don't yeah. know what you can. I don't yeah. know if, they are, if you can do it yeah. on the island, but I like it. Do your research before you actually yeah. do it. Yeah. Before, before you, <laughs> we don't want you to get, drive your RV over there. <laughs> we don't want you to get in trouble for yeah. anything like it that. Fun, though. But the weather is going to look nice yeah. for the weekend so to do all this stuff out there. That, and of course, we've got the rodeo. The rodeo. We've got the charter starting days. up. So yeah. Everything. Good stuff. It's wow. lots to do. Let's take a closer look at all that then. We're looking. Out.